friends, my name is Carrie Rice and I'm the owner of Sift Yoga as well as the owner of Youth Yoga School. Today I have for you a fun Valentine's story, um, just in time for Valentine's Day with your kiddos. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video, listening to the story, and then perhaps sneaking in a few yoga poses together as a family. Today's story, I'm gonna move a little closer so you can see, today's story is entitled the Ballad of Valentine by Allison Jackson. In a cabin in a canyon near a mountain laced with pine lived a girl who was my sweetheart. Her name was Valentine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Valentine. I have written 40 letters but you'll never read a line. See, he's sitting there at his typewriter, writing his letter. Gave the letter to a mailman to deliver rain or shine, but he couldn't find your address. The mailman couldn't find your address. So I pinned this Valentine. Then I trained a homing, homing pigeon and attach my note with twine. So he's got it tied to the bird. <laughs> Gonna try to spin the valentine. But he flew to Madagascar where he dropped your valentine. <laughs> so I built a raging bonfire, sent a black and smoky rhyme. You see it? Sent it in the clouds of smoke. But a cyclone stole the message and it vanished one more time. Next, I tapped a note in Morse code asking you to please be mine, but the signal hit a blizzard as it crossed the county line. Then I rented out a mail car on the westward rail line Look, he's sticking that giant valentine inside the rail car. But the train derailed in Denver, leaving letters strewn behind. So look, uh-oh, all the letters. Paid a rider on a pony, but his filly wouldn't mind. Bucked him off clear to Arizona where he's now been reassigned. Even tried to give it to a horseback rider. Bought, a, bought an airplane, wrote a message with a big heart underlined, but the wind erased three letters and you're now my owl and I'm. <laughs> he tried to use an airplane. Tied my message to a boulder with a sentimental rhyme but it rolled down into quicksand. Now your Valentine is blind. Well, I'm not much of a writer, but I tried to drop a line. If you ever get my message, starting to feel a little discouraged. If you ever get my message, oh, look, she's climbing up the hill. Will you be my Valentine? I really like this story because if you go back and look, all these different times she's trying to do things, she's doing stuff too. She's getting ready to make him something. And then we see her going to get the water so that she can start baking. We see that she is um, here. She's went and got uh, flour and sugar and eggs and all the time while he's been trying to do all these nice things for her she's also on her way up to meet him to be his valentine so whether or not you have the valentine like is in this story or you just have someone living with you at home that you can give a nice big squeeze run over there and give them a nice big valentine squeeze if you're watching this at school, maybe you fist bump or high five a friend or tell your teacher how special they are to you and how you enjoy these videos 
as part of a way to get your body moving and have some fun. So let's look through the book and see if we can do just a couple yoga poses today to go with the Ballad of Valentine. So one of my favorite things to do when we talk about Valentine's Day is to talk about the different kinds of love. And of course we have love for others, but it's also important that we feel some nice warm love inside of us. So start today's practice by giving yourself some self love, some big hug love across your upper body and chest. Maybe take your arms out wide and then go the other way and give yourself a nice big hug. So the story starts by showing the cabin. In a cabin, in a canyon. Can you make your body look like the roof of a cabin? I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so you can see me. So reach your hands up overhead. Maybe you sit down on your knees like I am and bend your elbows to make a little roof on your cabin. Another idea might be to bring your hands all the way down to the ground, lift your tail up to the ceiling and make yourself in a rooftop looking cabin of downward facing dog. Give yourself one more nice breath here because this cabin is in a canyon. So we're gonna switch from our cabin pose to a canyon pose. Put your hands behind you, lift your toes up and think about the opposite, how we had the roof going up. Now we're going to have the canyon going down. Now, if you can't quite make yourself look like that shape, just bend your knees, maybe take your time and lift just one foot up at a time. Or if you've got a wall nearby or a couch, you can put your hands down and put your feet up on that. And we'll just hold for three, two, one. Good, we had our cabin in the canyon. Now this man is working so hard to write his Valentine letter. So we're gonna write our letters and then place them in an envelope to send them. So look like me, legs go nice and long. We're gonna write our letter. Dear mom, dear dad, dear grandma, dear Mrs. or Mr., whoever you want to write that letter to. Go ahead and seal it up. Lift your hands up tall. We're going to pretend our legs are the envelope. Put the letter in the envelope. Slide your hands down towards your toes. See if you can make your spine nice and flat as we reach forward towards our toes for a big letter forward fold. From this letter pose, start to bring your chest up. Sit crisscross as we wait for the next pose in our story. He couldn't find the address. So he gives the letter to the mailman. And then the mailman says, you know what? No matter what, if the sun's shining or if the rain's falling, I'll deliver your letter. So whether the sun is shining or the rain is falling, He'll deliver the letter, but the problem was is he didn't have the right direction. He didn't have the right address. So he's kind of going all over the place looking to see if he can send that letter and he's not having any luck. So see if you can make your body look like me. Let's try sunshine and rain, but we have the wrong address. So it doesn't matter if we send it east or west or north or south because we had the wrong address. So the letter does not get sent. He even tries to give it to a homing pigeon. Can you make yourself fly like a bird? Maybe you stand up on your feet and you put one leg long out behind, you put your arms out to the side and you fly like a pigeon. Oh, that takes a lot of balance, doesn't it? Maybe switch legs, try the other side. If you've got a couch nearby or a chair or maybe mom or dad or someone you wanna hold their hands, feel free to do that as we fly like a pigeon. Now that pigeon got lost. He ended up in Madagascar. Madagascar. Do you know where Madagascar is? Off the coast of Africa. So he was way far away from where he was supposed to be. So then he just starts to build a fire. He thinks, you know what? If I build a fire, I can send my message up in smoke. So let's see if we can build a fire with our legs. Sit crisscross and then just take one leg and put it up on top of the other. Make your legs look like fire log. And we're just gonna see if we can float that smoke in a heart shape. So float your smoke and a heart shape all the way to our friends. Float the smoke and a heart shape. See if you can switch your legs. So whatever leg you had on bottom, see if you can make that one go on top. Float the smoke and a heart shape. All the way, we're sending these letters 
the best way we can. So we're trying to send a smoke message to our Valentine. Looking at the next page, we'll see that unfortunately, he sent those smoky letters up in the air, but they got caught up in a cyclone. So we're gonna give ourselves a nice little twist in a circle. So we have to be careful of our space. We don't wanna bump into anything. Give yourself a little twist in a circle. Now you can do this with bent knees like me, or you can stand up really tall, but it's a little bit harder when we do it with bent knees. Go right, oh, and then untwist and go left. Great job, friends. Bring yourself back down to the ground. And let's see what comes next. So he tries to use Morse code, which if you know what that is, that's tap, 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 tap. He's making little noises to send a message and it hits a blizzard. The best way that I know to do a blizzard would be to make ourselves look like snowflakes. Can you look like me? Start to stand up, spread your feet wide, and then make your arms go really big like a snowflake. Fall that snow all the way down to the ground. One more breath, lift your arms up, look like a snowflake, and then come all the way back down. Beautiful, so that blizzard gets in the way. The next thing he does, start to walk your feet in a little closer, bend your knees, come down and sit nice and tall. He's gonna put his letter in a railway car. So we're gonna try to make ourselves look like a box. You can make your box look like this, hands under shoulders, or maybe you're feeling really strong today and you make yourself look like a plate. He rented a rail car and sent it all the way down the line. Good job, my friends. But the problem was is they didn't have the door shut very much on that rail car and the letters flew everywhere. Gosh, man, he's just not having any luck. So he then buys an airplane to write a message. Let's see if we can balance again. Remember what our pigeon pose was? Let's try to take that one again. But this time we're gonna call it an airplane pose. Stand up on your feet. One leg goes behind. Fly your arms out to the side. You send a message on an airplane. But the problem was, is that it was so windy that the letters started blowing away. Let's get on the other leg. And then now all it says is, will you be my Valentine? Part of the word blew away. She's still cooking in the oven. She starts climbing up the hill to meet him because he's starting to really get discouraged. He's saying, I tried my message on a boulder and it rolls into quicksand. So she's coming up the hill and he just says, wow, gosh, man, if you ever get this message, I hope you will be my Valentine. Good work, friends. Give yourselves one more of those big hugs around the back, around the chest. Hopefully you enjoyed playing yoga with me today, knowing that you can pick up any book from the library or any book you have laying around at home and turn it into a yoga story. Snuggle up with someone you love or let your teacher read you a story and then maybe you guys can come up with your own poses to help, help illustrate the story. I hope you've enjoyed today's class, The Ballad of Valentine by Allison Jackson. Thank you guys so much. Again, I'm Carrie Rice, owner of SIFT Yoga as well as Youth Yoga School. Thank you again for tuning in and we hope to see you back in one of our videos again. Make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel and join us for more fun videos. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.